Survival, Welcome to Jungle Survival. We're here on Survival, we'll be doing a review on how to find True North by using the sun. So, please stand by. back you know if you ever been camping or hunting or things of that nature or you typically just get lost you know um, the port factors you're gonna need one of these lens static compass there we go helps you find a magnetic north so you can uh, convert it down to uh, uh, grid, grid north on your map uh, this is one of one of my bags. This is my uh, basic uh, uh, EDC. Uh, I have a EDC 24-hour bag, a 72-hour bag, and a long-term bag. We'll be doing a review of that coming up. But in, in theory, you need a compass if you determine yourself to be lost. Now, if you ever find yourself in a situation like that, I don't know if the sun you can see that. The soldier here is walking the terrain he disoriented he really doesn't know which direction to go so you know how to know the orientations of north south east and west comes is this one's kind of company the military style it's a model 27 uh it's my very own uh my very own uh i got uh, uh, issued um but you know you need these but it, but but if you can't find true north you know, um, there's ways to do that. And we're gonna show you by using the sun. And that's coming up right now, so stand by. Well, welcome back. A quick map to show how you can find true north. You're basically gonna use just a basic stick. Uh, <clears throat> got a little hazy day. It's it's been last few days been pretty bad but i'm going to use just a basic stick you don't need a lot of light so if i can show you over here let's put the camera over here you don't need a lot of light so with that being said we have just enough light right here in this corner to, to do that There we go. Okay, here we go. We place. You can do this with very low light. Just you just need just a little bit of light, like barely. It's right here. So I got that point. I got my end of my tip. Can't see it that well. Move it around. You can see it. You can see where the tip's at. Right there. Place your marker, and you wait 15 minutes. 15 minutes so we wouldn't do that right now 15 minutes and place our, our second marker the longer you wait the more better it is uh, this is perform on the northern hemisphere uh, the northern part of the, uh, the equator well, we are north of the equator because we're in the United States and if you were in the southern hemisphere the south part of the equator you would be it, it, it would be the opposite and we'll do a video on that so we're, 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 here we are and we're going to wait 15 minutes so please stand by all right here we are uh 15 minutes later um we have our light uh expending from i, I use a low light area so i can do this um we have our marker you can see right. Let me get a, I forgot to get a rock. All right, here we are. We're getting in really low light extremes here. We got a line coming through. We've got our marker.
right about there. Right there. Our mark comes right there, ends at this point here. So basically, you run your stick, reference stick, right here in line. That's telling you where it ends. That way, north is uh, north of that, south, west, and east. Reconfirm. I have a trailer right next to me. Anything or anything around metals uh, uh, affects your your northern hemisphere. So we got our compass. Can you oh, you see that? Right there, right next to it. There we go. Two north. Actually, it's correction, magnetic north. So there we go. Well, here we go. Here's here's our hot wash. Basically, we put our, our, our stake in the ground, and we just, we, and here's our sun, the directional sun. Bird position, it reflects, we, we, we uh, put a marker, first shadow, the time lapse is 15 minutes later, sun moves easterly, you place your secondary marker, you, you put your, uh, your stick or your uh, identifiers, to get a get true true stick, or you could, you could use, uh, like I said, a, a, an arrow. And once you draw that right in the middle of that, or just like a cross, or perpendicular, I believe is the word this is used, you put it right down the middle. That tells you your north, south, west, and east parameters. I would advise uh, you have your line of sight, this is your markers. You can see that. Stand right uh, the direction you want to go to. Point a finger or, 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 or send a line of sight to a train uh, a train features that you want to uh, mobilize or full overbound to. That that would be your, your north point. In this case, north, south, and east, west, so you're oriented. So you have a map you, you, you can correspond with that in addition to find out where you're at. So with that being said, that being said, uh, if you like the video, like and subscribe and make a comment. As uh, jungles here we say, be and all do. Be it, know it. Get out and do it.